Hello, welcome at Octopus. Our video demonstrates how to make a clocked printhead of a brother printer working again. The inkjet printer you see in this video has not been used for quite a while and this is the worst thing you can actually do for inkjet printer. We have been running the cleaning procedure of the printer many times. But still after all those cleanings you can see in the test page that the nozzles for the yellow ink are really clogged. So with this situation we don't want to waste any ink anymore and we're going to use a really simple setup to clean the nozzles manually. We use a nozzle cleaner by Octopus Fluids in combination with a big refill syringe that has a lure lock connection and a plastic hose that also have such a connector. When opening the upper lid on your printer you can see the print head in its parking position in the, on the right side. In that position it's really difficult to work on the print head itself. In the first step we're going to bridge that contact switch. Bridging that switch by using a little roll of paper enables us to make the printer work while the upper lid is still open. With that little roll bridging that switch the printer thinks that the upper lid actually is closed. Our aim right now is to get the print head out of the parking position into the middle of the working area where the printer actually prints on the paper. For that purpose we start the print head cleaning again. And as soon as the print head starts to move we take out the power supply of the printer. And then you will have the print head in the position as you see it here. Now we can move the print head from side to side freely and we definitely have a better access to the print head. Having the print head in the middle uh, provides the advantage that no cleaning fluid will leak into your printer when the print head is parked in the parking position. Now it's easy to install a sheet of folded paper towel under the print head. This paper towel soaks up the cleaning fluid when flushing the print head. As the nozzles on our printhead for the yellow ink are blocked, we're going to clean it by connecting our uh, little plastic tube to the ink port for the yellow ink. In the first step, we connect the refill syringe and the plastic tube. Now it's time to take some printhead cleaner direct from the bottle into the refill syringe. Here you can see we take in about 30 milliliters. Make sure that there's also some air inside the refill syringe. Inside the cartridge compartment in the printer, the positions for the colors are clearly marked. This way it's actually quite easy to connect the little plastic tube to the right ink port inside the cartridge compartment. Here you can see how we connect the flushing tube to the ink port for the yellow ink inside the printer. This is the point when the manual cleaning of the printhead nozzles actually starts. By pumping the syringe plunger carefully, we press the nozzle cleaner towards the printhead carefully. So please take your time and be really careful as we work on some small structures here. We don't want the tube slip of the ink port and we don't want any of the ink lines bursting inside the printer. Here we check on the result after 4 to 5 minutes of cleaning. Ok, it seems to be making some progress as some yellow ink nozzles already work, but in the upper area still yellow nozzles are missing. So please go on with the continuing the cleaning to improve the cleaning effects of the nozzle cleaner and the yellow nozzles. Now we do another check after 2 more minutes of cleaning. The result is much better already. You can see that a higher number of nozzles is releasing yellow ink mixed with cleaning fluid. We cannot predict exactly how long it's going to take to clean your clock printhead, but you can apply the technique a couple of times and you will be able to get rid of most of the annoying cloggings. So thanks for your support, thanks for watching, thanks for your time. We hope to see you on another Octopus TV session.